explicit phonics. Now, systematic phonics is when we go from uh, beginning to advanced and we, get, and we add on more complex rules and phonics. Explicit phonics has to do with direct instruction. So usually when we're teaching a new phonics rule, t the teacher pulls out words and teaches those specific phonics rules in isolation first. So the teacher teaches that new phonics rule in isolation and then incorporates uh, and then uses a text or uses some type of writing that um, uh, reflects some of those phonics rules that were just taught. So always remember when we're trying to help a student with phonics, we first explicitly teach the phonics rule by pulling the words out and teaching them in isolation first. And then we want to make sure the student has time to practice decoding those words or enco encoding using those phonics patterns. Okay, great. So we have this. We have this definition down. Now make sure you pause the video and read this now, okay? Pause it. Unpause it, okay? Because whenever we're teaching this stuff, right, we always teach it in isolation first, and this is and give it explicitly. So I'm going to try that again with this picture now that I have it nice and big. And I want to explicitly teach, uh, you know, vowel diagraphs and, and vowel pairs and diphthongs. Let's just get that clarified, okay? I, I feel confident that you, you, you know what CVC words are, right? You, and, and I'm sure, you know, we already looked at examples of like CCVC words or CVCC words or... We even looked at some examples of uh, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant words. Is that right? We've, we've seen those. So let's just say these are the most basic ones. They're all with short vowels. Okay. And we've, we've already looked at some of those. But just for fun, let's generate some words that fall into this basic, uh, basic words like cat. Right. Uh, how about um, trip? How about, um, um, let's see, uh, much? How about um, stuck, right? Those are all basic words that ha fall into those patterns. And it's made up of some blends and some constant diagraphs and some blends and some constant diagraphs, right? We, we've got that. And uh, um, now let's talk about, you know, vowel diagraphs and vowel pairs. Now, this can be a little tricky for teachers because you'll notice that these both have two vowels and they both make one sound. So actually, the best way to think about this is um, a vowel diagraph, right, is uh, anything, any anytime you have two vowels that make one sound. And in this case right here, we have several vowel diagraphs. Uh, this, let me get my, uh, this is a vowel diagraph. Uh, this is a vowel diagram. They're all vowel diagraphs. They're all two vowels that make, um, they're all two vowels that make one sound, right? So that is definitely a vowel diagram. So if you just didn't know the difference between a vowel pair and a vowel diagraph, I want you to rem remember that anytime you have two vowels that make one sound, it's a vowel diagram. Now let's take, let's take a look at these two. Let's do the AI in rain. That's one type of vowel diagraph and the OO in the U in moon. That's another type of vowel diagraph. Both of these are vowel diagraphs, okay? But the AI, you'll notice, is two vowels that make one sound, and the first vowel is long, or the first one says its name. You ever heard that? First one does the walking, second one, first one does the talking, second one does the walking. Is that right? That is a vowel diagraph that we sometimes call a vowel pair. So vowel pairs, or vowel diagraph, it's a type of vowel diagraph, two vowels that make one sound, where the first vowel is always long, long A, long E, right? Long I, long O, uh, long U in blue. It's always long. So that's the difference between a diagraph and a diphthong, a, di a vowel diagraph and a, a vowel pair. A vowel pair is a type of vowel diagraph, but it's a type of vowel diagraph where the first vowel is long and the second one's silent. Got that? Um, and, uh, and, and these other ones here are just vowel diagraphs, okay? Two vowels that make their own sound, okay? One sound. Now, team, if I said something there and I got you confused between a vowel diagraph and a vowel, and a vowel pair, don't sweat it. Just do me a favor. Watch the video again. Or if you're still stuck, I just want you to remember that all of these that are in the circle are vowel diagraphs. 
anytime you have two vowels that make one sound, whether it's a vowel that's long or a vowel that's, you know, a unique sound, anytime it's two vowels, that's one sound, it's a vowel digraph. So if you're trying to figure out which one it is, just on the day of the test, if you're writing an essay, just say uh, vowel digraph, okay? You could be like the student had difficulty in phonics involving vowel digraphs, and you could give rain and moon as two examples, okay? Okay, now let's do a little bit more explicitly teaching you this stuff here, okay? Giving you direct instruction. We've already talked about these types of words, okay? Uh, with short vowel, CBC, um, um, consonant uh, blends and consonant diagraphs. We already did vowel diagraphs. Now let's just clarify diphthongs one more time. Explicitly. A diphthong is when we have two things like the oi in boy, where these two things are blended together and there's a movement in the mouth, throat, and jaw. So when you say oi, oi, you notice you feel the movement in your mouth, throat, and jaw. Oi, that's a diphthong. Oi, oil, owl, scout, uh, stew, stew, ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, stew. Ha 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 ha. Stew is uh, <laughs> falls into here. Or it's it's a little different because it's got that consonant. It's a little different, I guess. But these are all classic, classic diphthongs. Okay. Because uh, they're two, they're they're mixing of two sounds. This is just actually one sound. Ooh, okay. But this is two things that you hear two sounds in them, and that's a diphthong. Okay.